90 years ago, in the Valley of the Kings, the necropolis near the Egyptian city of Luxor, it happened one of the most important archaeological discoveries in history. After 14 years of work, interrupted only by World War I, archaeologist Howard Carter found the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun ascended the throne at the age of nine. Although his reign was not historically important, has become the most famous Ferio of all time. On November 26, 1922, Howard Carter, together with his patron, Lord Carnarvon, and his daughter, opened the antechamber of the tomb of Tutankhamun. There, Carter could envision treasures he described as wonderful things. The tomb housed about 5,000 objects from the pharaoh, who died at the age of 19. Today, a traveling exhibition recreates some of the treasures found in the Egyptian tomb. Visitors can share the feelings of Carter at the time of discovery. The exhibition Tutankhamun, his tomb and his secrets contains replicas of furniture, clothing, weapons and ceremonial objects found in the Egyptian king's tomb. They are located in its original context, so the observer experiences today what the British archaeologist saw nearly 90 years ago. On the way you can see the four majestic burial chambers covered with gold on the sarcophagus that contain the coffins of the king and his mummy. These were included within each other like Russian nesting dolls. The exhibition subsequently breaks down the elements of the tomb in detail, so the visitors can appreciate the full majesty of the magnificent tomb of Tutankhamun. The objective is to recreate the feelings Carter and his colleagues had during the excavation, its research and documentation of the objects found inside the grave. The visitor will be able to find an X-ray used to clarify the cause of death of the young pharaoh, a replica of the canopic vessels where the ancient Egyptians stored the embalmed fissure of the body after mummification, some of his personal wardrobe, and even a reconstruction of one of the chariots of the pharaoh. Bows, maces, boomerangs, jewelry, and amulets made of luxurious materials such as gold, ebony, ivory, alabaster, and precious stones were buried with the boy king, so he could have them in the afterlife. And of course, the magnificent golden death mask inlaid with turquoise glass that was placed over the shoulders of the mummy. The mask, along with the ceremony of throne, are the stars of the show. And the originals are currently displayed in the Archaeological Museum in Cairo. Its organizers claim that due to their dispersion and fragility, it is unlikely an exhibition like this one could be done with the real objects found by Carter. The experience is complete with a sample of the original photographs taken during the opening of the tomb. So far, nearly 2 million people have visited this exhibition in European cities like Zurich, Verna, Munich, Barcelona or Madrid. Soon, Manchester and Colonia will be the series hosting the secrets and treasures of the young Egyptian king.